I'm going to show you how to create an Ed Fairburn edit using a normal road map that you've taken off um, of Google Images and overlaying it with a portrait on there. So as you can see, Ed Fairburn's work um, has got kind of like the transparency through it. It's obviously drawn, but we're going to do a digital edit from that anyway. So we want to be seeing sort of like the breakouts of um, the portrait maybe being black and white. So it looks like it's been drawn. And obviously then the um, the, the road map sort of usage of that. So let's just put road maps of Manchester. So from here... You want to be looking at roadmaps. So, for example, if you used to look at this one, it's too simplified. There isn't enough lines and greens on there that you can actually work with for the contours of sort of like your portrait. So you want to be looking at something quite busy like this one. So if I get that image and open it up into Photoshop, as you can see now, um, it won't let me sort of unlock that layer because there's copyright issues on there. So what I need to do, is using the rectangle marquee tool I need to select the area of what I want I then need to sort of uh, need to do your edit and copy and then if I do a new um, a new layer or a new document I am then going to paste that into there so now I can do my edit transform scale change the size of it and then rotate it round. So edit, transform, rotate. So I've got the size of where I need it to be. It's gonna fill the entire image, okay? So if I get my image that I want off here, I've already edited my picture, so it's black and white. So. I'm going to unlock my layer. I'm going to move, use the move tool to select my layer, take it into my map, click OK, and then I need to change the size of it again by doing edit, transform, and scale, holding the shift key down to make sure that it's in proportion of where I want it to be. Click my return key when I've got it where I need it to be, and then Depending on the image, it might be easy for you to use your magic wand to them. But as you can see, it's all the tones in terms of black and white are merging too close together. So it's not possible for me to do the magic wand. So I can try quick selection. So I'd have to do select and deselect. So if I do my quick selection, I can then start to remove some of the areas on my image, okay? So do my select and deselect. The other way of doing it would be using my rubber tool, making sure that you have a little bit of size on there and very carefully going around the portrait to remove the background that is on my portrait picture. So I'm removing that. So I've got the entire background removed so I'm just going to try the quick selection tool to make it a bit quicker to show you guys okay so for there I'm going to have to use my rubber otherwise it's going to start to take some of the hair away which we need so let's try the quick selection again So we've got select and deselect. So now what we need to do is change the opacity on our portrait layer. So as you can start to see now, the more we change it down, the more contour within the, the, the lines underneath the roadmap are seeping through. So say so we have a kind of like 50% sort of opacity. I am now going to play around 
with the, the drop down menu to see what type of lighting is best for that picture. So as you can see, it's faded it out too much. So I want it to be sort of semi clear, but I also want to sort of see some of those contours coming through as well. So I quite like the kind of hard and vivid light. So if I was to use a vivid light, you can see how you've still got the portrait in there using the contours like of the map. And you've also got the um, the style of Ed Furburn seeping through. So if we were to look back at Ed Furburn's images, you can see how there's kind of a relation to working in the style of Ed Furburn.